Hey guys, how's it going? We uh, just got this nuke from one of the, from this nice lady. Uh, my son lost his bees that we had, so we're just doing a nuke uh, installation real quick. Uh, we got a little bit of drizzle coming in, so we're trying to get it, get it a bit fast. I think we're gonna have to remove another one of these, you know? I didn't bring my hive tool, can I borrow yours? Yeah. Okay, so all we're doing is pretty much placing the new ones. We're removing a couple of them and we're placing the new ones right in the center of this. Of this uh, hive box we have going on here. That should be good, I think. Let's see, This one, which one was the middle one? That one is gonna go right in the middle. You wanna put the new nook right in the middle of your, your hive, of your box. Uh, and then they'll start building to the side. This new, these frames we have, they already have wax, they're pre-waxed. This is from our previous bees that we had, and it's gonna make the production a lot faster. They're gonna be able to produce, uh, to lay, the queen's gonna start laying her eggs. We're gonna try to find the queen, hopefully we can show you that. Oh, uh, we have some brood on here, and some, uh, some honey, and some frame. This is the, the drone brood. You can see it's a lot bigger. More puffier. More puffier, yeah. They puff out and yeah, you see the larva good. down there. And then we have uh just some resources on the side, some nectar. Nectar resources on the side, yep. So the queen is working. Let's go ahead and put that in too. Yep. Is it gonna fit in there? Good. Like so. I'm gonna move this one to the side. So we can put our other one on this side. And we could have all the new, uh, the new comes with five frames. So we're gonna put the five frames right in the middle. Look out for the queen. Do you see the queen? I do see her. There's a drone. It's a big guy. I don't see the queen. Any signs of the queen? No. A queen cup, let me see. It's empty. So. Any, uh, it looks like it has some jelly in there. No, it's empty. Okay. Well, let's place it back in. They are, they seem to be active. Hopefully they start producing yeah. or reproducing. Hopefully we, the queen can start laying her eggs. Let's see if we find her down there. Let's uh, dump her in there. Yeah, let's, uh, you want me to get a brush? Uh, I think we can, it'll be fine just dumping it. Okay. Okay. Just slam it down a bit. And we could just set it on the side, and they'll fly right out. They'll fly right into the, right into the nest into the new hive. Let's put it down, Let's right next to, it. next to it. You wanna put it next to it. We did that, that way, in case the queen was on this side. We didn't see the queen. We are gonna check this once next week, maybe tomorrow, while they, uh, while they get used to their, to their new hive, oh, new, uh, new house. Let's get the entry, the entrance. We have an entry reducer back there. Uh, we're gonna place that right on the front and you want a big entry or the I say we put the big one for now all right good. Let's put that down there. and there we go now we're just gonna put the inner cover on yeah what we are doing is you don't have this none on the edge we don't want to get any bees now because we have a we're barely starting with this nuke nuke I'm sorry We'll place the other empty box on top. Yeah, so we can place sugar water on the inside in a little jar. Yeah, this is what 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 is good to do. We uh we put the the lid, the inner cover, and then we will put the empty box on the top, and that way you can have uh room up here so you can put your you can feed them. It's a feeder. All it is is water and sugar, a mix of both, and they'll be able to feed off of that while they're while they start scavenging for some. Uh, it's always best to to uh. To provide them with with, with uh, sugar water, yeah, that way they'll get 
Yeah, when they're first starting out, go ahead. So that they can have some good starting resources. So that while they build up, they don't have to work so hard to go out there and get the resources when it's right there. Mm -hmm. So that for like the babies in there, they can feed them quickly while they have foragers going out over there. Good. We yeah. place this up here. This is just extra because we had a small leak. This is just a plastic tote that we have. And uh, we just customized it pretty much. Just pretty much place it on top so it could... So it could reduce the amount of water that goes in. Yep. Okay, we'll leave these on this, this here on the side. There's no bees over here, so we're good. I don't think we, we can... I don't think we should leave it here. Sure. We can, but... Oh, well, let's leave it here, but upside down. to where water can't get in. Okay. All right, good deal. We are going to take this frame back. We had an extra frame. We're going to use that for next time. Okay. We're going to get the sugar water, place it on top, and then we'll get back to it. But there you have it, folks. That's pretty much all you do when you're starting with a new, a new, uh, a new hive, a new nuke. Yeah, a new nuke. Also, remember, you got to put them in the middle so, in the brood so that they can start to build out. And then once they get big enough, you can start... Going up, bringing some frames from the middle, put it in the top box, and then just fill it out like that. Yeah, that looks like a pretty strong uh, hive. Yeah, pretty, pretty decent. Should we place that on top so it won't fall off? Yeah, might as well. Yeah. Because it's going to be windy today, so let's place it on top. There we go. How's it looking? Good. That'll do. Good. There you have it. <laughs> we have some eggs up here. <laughs> Gotta pick those up. Yeah, that's it. They look pretty good. I did a little bit of a trimming on the side, just so they could have a, they could be more exposed. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all we gotta do. You guys have a good one.